All right, I wanted to showcase one more way to play Adventure Quest on a Chromebook. And this also works with probably most Android phones and tablets. Uh, but because um, Chromebook runs Android apps, um, basically it's through an Android app, there is a web browser that still uses Flash. It's the only thing that I, I have been able to find. Uh, but the Flash is, is cloud-based. Um, so you would just go to your normal Play Store and you just put Puffin or Puffin Browser and you have the free browser here it does limit um, certain times a day certain amount of data um, if you're going to use Puffin Browser uh, more often it's actually uh, metrics show it's the fastest uh, bra um, phone browser uh, that you can get it used to exist on the iPhone but Apple killed it off. They didn't like the competition. It was uh, exceeding their browser's capabilities, so they, they just kicked them off. Um, but there is the Pro Browser here, which will cost you a one-time fee. Uh, it's an upgrade. I would recommend doing it. Okay? So that's where we're going to start. And then all you're going to do... So I'm in the browser now. And all you're going to do is just go to the battleon.com home, click play free, and you're basically going to load it like you used to, like in Google Chrome or whatever browser you used to use. It's, it's the same process from here. And it'll actually run. So I'm in the browser now. And it starts off small, but one of the things that the browser has a feature is called a theater, flash theater. And it'll actually then resize what you're looking at to fill the screen like this. It has some quirks, like when you click the box to save your login information and your password, it won't actually save. Um, also, um, if you are used to staying logged in for long periods of time, it won't allow that. It does refresh every so often. Uh, like if you're looking at a normal web page, it'll refresh. Um, and then um, sometimes it'll resize back down to that previous size and you got to go back into Flash Theater and get it to resize again. Also, it will not save any of this stuff here that you like. Like for example, I don't like sound effects. I prefer this, this, and this. And even though you have this stuff... Uh, checked it, it the browser will not do it um, one of the advantages of using this because of the cloud-based flash is you can put your graphics on high and pretty much irregardless of your specs on your your device and it'll get you like 14 15 16 frame rate most of the time well, that's not good Um, it is a little bit clunky. It's not the best way to play, but if you're somebody who's sitting around with a phone or a tablet somewhere with an internet connection, you don't have a laptop next to you, um, and you're not currently logged in, uh, in another session, it'll let you do it. You notice my frame rate here there's some there's some items that are notorious for having for slowing down frame rates this browser will actually allow you to not slow down your frame rates with those items that's one that's like the big advantage I think And then one other disadvantage too is the, the cloud-based connection can sometimes be a little slower than some other times. Um, so it's not the best way to play, but it, you can play. Um,
there is some little bit of hiccups it, it feels like the flash is like starts to slightly lag and then it tries to catch up so there's there's little things here and there um, sometimes it could depend on uh, a variety of factors um, but as you can see it's just just a web browser so you can uh, change your flash quality here go back to normal here because it's a web browser I don't know let's just do this you know like I said it's just a web browser Well, anyway, that, that's uh, another way you can play. It's it's for um, some folks that uh, maybe they, they like to play with the tablet or um, maybe their Android phone or it's just another way to play on a Chromebook.